Hello friends, I am Neeraj. Welcome to Grow Your Skill. In our blog application, which uh, we completed uh, successfully using ReactJS and GoFiber, I am planning to add the authentication in our application. And uh, the way I am planning to add the authentication is via is using microservices so that our API server, ser API, the blog API service would be running entirely as a separate thread and our authentication would be running in a entirely separate container and uh, both of them would be sharing the same database and uh, so this is the this is the high level diagram i have created so this is our client so it could be our it could be our react client it could be our mobile device or just anything and uh, it will communicate to the auth service to get the user credential using the user credential to get the tokens uh if, if the user is authorized so it will communicate to access the database so and uh, it will return the whether the user is authenticated or not and if it is so so it will uh access the blog apis for the uh creation and ed and addition remember that uh, we had uh, although we had this is our application running so we are having the add new and edit functionality and delete functionality so we can password protect uh, uh, i mean the addition and creation and deletion so we can uh, we can uh, make it as a protected resources so that uh, it cannot be accessed uh, via public and we will also add the person whoever has uh, added this uh, this blog okay so in this uh, the, this is the whole module structure so i have uh, separated that so one module would be our blog module and bas and actually using a while developing an enterprise level application so it is ideally best to separate the functionalities on a module and sub modules and so on so that we can work in a agile way and uh, and, and in a faster way as well and maintenance and other stuffs are also more manageable and more efficient we can do more efficiently so this is the structure so in uh, in coming few uh, sessions so we will be seeing about that uh, how we can use authentication using jwt and also we will uh, uh, we, we will see about the global state management uh, using redux so there are two ways actually so like uh, we can using react so we can go with the context api use context hook or or redux so i'll be going with uh, redux and the all service that would be running as a separate microservice and the blog service would be running as a separate microservice okay so that way so this is this session is more like a theoretical and designing uh, designing sessions so but yes so in coming days so that would be more happiness and uh, more work to do so here the all service actually so we can go i mean golang or uh, using a separate microservice that uh, is the benefit of this is that our service uh, can uh, can be technology independent so we can have a django application running for the authentication purpose or a java or or whatever so it doesn't matter actually so that is the benefit of the microservices architecture okay so let's meet uh, in the next few days and uh, we will start uh, working uh, uh, developing this whole uh, other the auth module okay so till then take care and happy coding